All right, all my dear friends, uh, we're back. It's another day, it's chilly. What else is new around here? Not much, um, but I see a pile of stuff over here. Well, at least I see boxes, but it uh, looks like we have like rain clouds. Like that looks kind of like a rain cloud to me. It's supposed to maybe snow or rain today, so that would probably explain that. This looked intriguing. These look kind of nice. Not really much else in here. Probably should just take. I'll probably take that box. what's in that garbage bag I think what's in that garbage bag is a fur coat I don't know it's some sort of fur thing so we'll see what it is it might be a fur coat might be a knockoff fur coat might just not be anything fur related but I think it's a fur coat um, look like the other stuff was garbage uh, but yeah we are back again for another day happy Tuesday everyone Hopefully it's going to be warmer today. I think it is. It, it feels warmer. I just haven't had the heat on yet because the, the vehicle hasn't warmed up. But, man, salsa just follows you everywhere. What is... There it is. I got it. Life of having a golden retriever, I guess. Well, just across the street is where I found that ATM parts and pieces from yesterday's video. So I see a chair over here. So, I walk over here. Try to be courteous, not block the intersection. I don't think a lot of people are going to work right now or probably already at work. Just put it that way. I wouldn't say I'm late, but the days still are getting, they're getting lighter out early, as you guys might be able to tell, but um, it's not like it's getting light out at 5 a.m. It's getting light out at 6.30. So it's probably about seven o'clock right now or so. That piece. I don't think these people put anything out new. Like I said, I think this house sold. I saw I came around for the afternoon shift and drove by yesterday's video and um, yeah, so this is probably all just new. New garbage that was put out but new stuff that's being brought to the house, not as opposed to they're moving or selling and that stuff that was in the house for the last 20 years. Let's see if this is over here. Might be rotors in this box? No. Got myself a clock. Just so you can tell what time it is. really should just go to a car wash while I'm in town. I think that's me what I'll do. Even though it's supposed to rain on Wednesday. It's pretty bad. Probably a smart move. At least get some water on it or something. Clean water. So, people swear by this car wash. Uh, every time I've come here, I've been so sketched out. In fact, I don't even know how you even get in there. It also says it's open, but it says winter hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., 7.30. But I don't, I don't understand how you even open these things. I don't know if there's someone here. I don't know. I want to get out and just look. 
There's all these cars around. I have no idea how you even go in there. I really don't. So I'm not going. In fact, I don't even know if they're open. Because it's, again, 1 o'clock. It's 7.30 even though it says open right there. It might be one of those that you kind of pull up and it opens. But maybe there's someone supposed to be there. Uh, the world might never know. Try it another time when it's not 7.30 in the morning. So I'll go to the other car wash that's in Wind Gap. For anyone who might be local who's been to this car wash, let me know how it kind of works. Maybe you do have to wait until 8 o'clock and those doors are open. I don't even know what that's to say. It's a soft wash, eight coin operator base, eight. I see like three that are possible. I'll go to the other one. The other one just isn't as good. It just doesn't, sometimes it doesn't clean your vehicle. They, everyone says in town they go to this one even though it's very sketchy and no one knows what to do. What are you gonna do? I like to say, why does this stuff look like it was never ever purchased? Like that's all sun faded. And why does it always look like it's from the 90s? In fact, I think if you, yeah, why are they all, I mean, I can kind of see why they're sun faded because the sun's probably over there at some point, but they all look very outdated. All right. All right. I didn't get scanned, but it literally just started raining. Wow. It's, it's literally raining right now. Am I really about to do a car wash in the rain? Probably. We probably just have to get off like all this kind of stuff's not gonna come off just water. Probably best I kind of get some of it off. Well, anyway, it cost me two dollars and fifty cents. So, come on, I just. I just put three dollars in and nothing happened so i went to the other one because i figured they give you six tokens for five bucks so each token is supposed to be like a dollar so essentially you kind of if this works i just spent five bucks on one car wash which really isn't a lot of money but it's enough one dollar two dollars Guess I'll uh, see what's kind of in this box. That's garbage. These were kind of cool. I might take those out. What is this? That's just an empty box. Spiritual flutes. There's also a bunch of CDs down here. Sweet Valentine. Okay. Some paint. More CDs. I don't. Oh, these must have came from Hobby Lobby or something. I can see sort of residue of a barcode. Can I see the lines on camera? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so these are new. That might just be garbage. Um, and I think that, like I said, was a uh, fur coat. I think. I don't know what the heck this is. Something with dinosaurs. Figure set. Literally, they did all of this for a bunch of figures. It's a lot of material there. I feel like they could have done that in a much more eco friendly way. It's a cool display thing, but it's not like that's just packaging. Let's see what this is. I'm thinking a fur coat. 
This kind of looks like it might be the hood of a fur coat. Glenot. Glenot. Luxury deep pill fabric. Maybe that's the coat. Made by Sears, the fashion place. Clean by furrier method only. Fake fur. Alright. Not real fur, but... At least not that I don't think it's real fur. Interesting. Well, that solves that. Alright, back out for my endeavors for the rest of today. I have to go to the post office, as you see here. I have to drop off stuff at the UPS store. I, uh... I was actually just looking at eBay and I thought it was kind of funny because um, I don't have an eBay store. It's kind of far walk, wasn't expecting this. Um, all the plates. No, it's not a plate. It's a piece of cast iron. That's paperwork. More like decorative cast iron. I don't think you'd really cook on that, would you? Doesn't even say made in country far away on it. I feel like it might be more decorative. But anyway, I don't have an eBay store, so I don't get these eBay shipping supplies. And uh, I didn't know there was like a so called seller account that has all the eBay shipping supplies. So I never actually looked at the whole eBay store where you can buy shipping supplies. Some people are like, wow, you never even knew that or whatever it might be. And yeah, I just thought it was like its own separate website, but no, it's like an account on eBay. Apparently, I, mean, I might be wrong because today's the first day I saw it. Um, but some of those supplies are really expensive. So I guess if you have a store, you get a certain amount of money allocated or allowance for that. But I just thought it was interesting. I thought it was different. I thought it was something that my whole life has kind of been a lie to. And uh, it was kind of cool to see it. You know, you can buy boxes or tape or envelopes. Pretty cool to me. Hey, look, a snow shovel. Looks broken. It's amazing how many snow shovels we see all summer. And I tried to sell one. I can't sell. It's one of those tools that just doesn't sell, but go to a hardware store during a snowstorm or before a snowstorm and you see everyone walking out the door with them spending $35, $45 for one. And I can't get two bucks. I don't know how you educate people to tell them, hey look, this is a good deal, buy it. But... Alright, well, I gotta back it up here again because I see more trash. It's all photos and stuff. That's garbage. Take this guy. That's kind of cool, no? I'm gonna say it's probably for cats. Could be wrong, though. They've been throwing away trash for years. Sometimes it's decent stuff, sometimes it's not. Like I'm off to a flame, I'm back here again. I gotta meet this guy for another uh, another exchange. Good morning. How you doing? Doing all right. Do I know, yeah. It's it's <laughs> like freezing rain. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah. By then, I won't have them anymore. Just, <laughs> the, no, no. They're going to the flea market. They put them on table for like I do like a five dollar table. Anything on items five bucks and all the all that stuff goes. Especially if it's unusual. Even if it's only worth like eight or ten dollars. Right, right. People out there, you know, it's five bucks. You know, what's the big yeah, deal? Yeah, a lot of people don't want to. For a local people, you might remember when. uh 
Lanko is over here in the Dollar Tree section, over there to the right. But uh, Lanko's no longer there. That was like one of the original Lankos. So when you hear me talk about Lanko, that's the one that I remember. It was in this shopping mall. Very easy. Hopefully no one steals my package. Oh, you got one of those people. Now you, you kind of hear it. One of those people who call on their uh, their phones but hook it up to their Bluetooth and go through their speakers and then everyone in the whole neighborhood can hear it. One of those people. So what kind of ephemera do we have here? Looks like there's a mouse nest in here of some sort. Looks like we have sheet music. Oh, jeez. Violin. Yep, some sort of uh, mouse was in there. I still think that's for a cat. Good old sheet music. Funny thing about sheet music is some pieces are worth lots of money and 99% of it is not worth lots of money. Almost like sports cards and comics and stamps. There's a lot out there that just fall underneath that category. Okay, well, off to the hardware store. If you guys didn't know, what we got back here, a whole bunch of bubble wrap. Although, you can't really see it. You can kind of see the back door. I don't know what I did. I, I tried... Oh, it's because I turned... Open up the door, so when I open the door, that backlight turns on. Um, but I stopped off at the bubble wrap place. That's what $200 of my cost looks like. And uh, now I'm here because I have to get shoe boxes. I ran out of priority mail shoe boxes. Oh, check out this. They got a price out here on the wood? No, they don't. I'm always fascinated by this. Uh-oh, it's about that time of the year. I see gardening stuff. They just put this out. It used to be all salt. Salt and different kind of salt and snow mix. Yeah, they, in fact, those were over there. I didn't see those. Oh, $34 for that. Wow. For that shovel. Okay. Opening up the dungeon. I feel like this place gets filled and filled more and more by the day. So, I have to now take that bubble wrap and add it to my pile of bubble wrap. I really wish I would have just knocked out all this stuff. Uh, oh, I forgot to take that out for recyclables. I wonder if I can go do that quickly. Unless they already came by. Well, plot twist. Recycling people already came through. Garbage people didn't, but the recycling people came through, so. Ah. Uh, well, I guess I just have a full recycling can there. Alright. Well, just managed to make this look more like a mess than it probably should be. It looks like there's a lot more there than there actually is. It's because there's a table on the back side, which gives it a lot more height. Uh, but there's a lot there. Um, not as much, I, I don't think, as last year. But I should have really taken advantage and got rid of all that stuff before I even bought more bubble wrap. I had a lot of people leave messages and leave comments on uh, 
And I thought this was a great idea until I came in here. I realized there wasn't one board that ran this way. It seems like there's only one that goes this way. Um, and what I was going to do, if there was one running this way, I was going to put a pole on there. A lot of people say, put a pole up there, like a metal pole. I thought I even put a PVC pole or PVC pipe up there. And then you can then slide these rows of bubble wrap. So a pole will go right here, and then they'll just kind of rest up there. Now with time, I don't know if the uh, the force of the pole pushing upwards, because this would obviously fall down on it. I don't know if that would dent the bubble wrap. Granted, it doesn't actually hurt it, but it does like make it look uglier. Um, so for sellable value, would it really change? I don't know, but um, then, then is that something that happens in a week? Does it happen in two weeks? Does it happen in a day, a month? I don't know, because I haven't done it. But looking up, I don't know where I would put that pole. Um, I don't want to put any pole going this way because if I get those doors put in, the doors would go here, and I think the track would go that way. So I don't want the pole to hit the track or have to remove the pole to put the track there. And that's why I was really wishing there were other other 2 by 6s in here. And I really thought there were because I can run it that way and maybe put it over here by the wall or whatever it is so i'll still have to think about that idea that will be another project for yet another day so many projects not enough time kind of just is what it is um also got to take out that paper i'll add it over here to the collection of paper and stuff to go through stuff to go through these I don't think are worth anything but I just never seen them before they were in some sort of set of things this is all sheet music that has to be looked up in those bottles which I probably should just bring down to the house look them up quick and then just put them away but I probably won't I can feel the ground is getting softer also the day goes on, it's thawing out. See there's still snow. I'll probably put the you know, I'll put it down here. Now we'll go over there and we're uh, bada bing bada boom. Pick up this tank. But it's gonna wrap it up here for today's adventure. It's starting to get warm, so I'm gonna try to get some outside work done. Put away some sticks that have fallen, some broken broken branches. Those from the pine trees, from the, the snowstorm that we had a while back. I had three really large branches that must have fell down from the top of the tree. Um, a lot of things got to be done yard work-wise. So I'm going to try to seize the opportunity as we're starting to creep into like the 40s right now, temperature-wise. In fact, my little thing over here does say, I think it says it's exactly 40. pretty close so certainly warming up but thanks for tagging along for another adventure enjoy the rest of your week happy tuesday and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow should be trash picking as long as everything goes planned and we don't get like a major snowstorm overnight or anything crazy or wonky happens but stay tuned for that thanks for tagging along and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode glad to have you guys until next time have a great day keep living a dream peace